All right, we are out here in Santa Cruz getting ready to ride some trails and as usual, just trying to be more awesome. Did you guys call us? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we said more awesome, not, not mo, mo awesome. Ah! Hello everyone. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back. If you are new here, I'm Sid. And I'm Mackie. Today, we're pretty excited. We are gonna go on a very fun ride, which we need because sea otter, if you haven't seen our sea otter vlog, Mackie raced all four events at sea otter. Today I'm racing enduro, Saturday I'm racing dual slalom, and Sunday I'm racing cross country and downhill. So we are pretty cooked. I did two events, he did four. We were just go, go, go all weekend. Right now we need to just like go out and have a day in the forest with friends and just play on our bikes. It is so green and amazing here in Santa Cruz. They've had a lot of rain, the dirt is really good, it's not muddy anymore. Do you guys remember Remy from video that we did like a year ago a year where ago. he took us rock climbing and we sucked at it. Are you gonna shred this thing today? I'm gonna shred it. Yeah. That's what I was just thinking like, you know, <laughs> the trail seemed a little too easy for me and so I would take the hard trail today. That oh, looks really good. good. That looks really <laughs> good, good Remy. That's gonna, that's gonna do real well. So our other guests on the channel, other than Remy, who you guys know, are the awesome! I really like your jersey. I know. It's amazing. It's you called Lewis Rat. I gotta do the full. Oh, this is the cult. This is for the cult. Yeah. So. Mo and, everyone, Mo and Hannah are in a cult. We're in a cult now. So apparently, if you give us free jerseys, we'll join your cult. Yeah. That's good to know. That's that's good. Good. That probably works on most people. We want to try and imitate and become you guys. Okay. What would you guys say are five tips to becoming Sid and Mackie? Eat more bacon. Oh, oh, oh. What would you say is the third tip to becoming Sid and Mackie? Burritos, but you guys do that already. We do that. So last one would have to be the stoppy kiss. So we have issued a challenge to Mo and Hannah. Challenge! Because uh, they want to be like us for some <laughs> reason. Yes. Got me. <laughs> we think it would be pretty awesome to see them nail the stoppy kiss. Okay, so uh, Hannah, you want to get yourself somewhere with like a clear exit. Mo, like you want to like underdo it a little bit because she can always come up to meet you. Whereas when you overdo it, it's not good. <sighs> He's nervous. <laughs> Here's the other thing that you can do which will help. Uh -huh. Hannah, you just stand like this and get him to try to kiss your hand. Oh yeah. I Okay, there that, was good. Good. that was good. Yeah! <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job! Now you guys, we need you to be high five, awesome. high five. Yeah. Yes. Good job. So good more job. awesome. <laughs> We're gonna put you on the big bike. How do you feel about Ooh. that? Oh, that's great, I'm psyched. We'll put Mackie on the hardtail. Yeah, that's what's happening here. Well, how do you feel about that, Mackie? Um, that means I'll be even faster you know. than normal. It means I don't. <laughs> you, you know. <laughs> Sid and I basically have no idea where we are. I mean, we've ridden oh, up here sure. before, no, but it's always like been like just like one ride with oh. people and like we've never learned the area. So we're basically just like, okay, Mo, you tell us where we're going and then we follow him. I am on my hardtail because we're letting Remy ride my portal. Jameis Dakota. It's a really fun bike. It might be a tiny bit undergunned for these trails. Trails, but I think it's gonna be pretty oh, awesome. Scared? Uh, no! I'm scared for Mackie. <laughs> Remy, you you're scared on my behalf. We're all a little scared for you. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, I'm scared on your behalf. <laughs> I'm scared for my, on my behalf as well. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone's scared on everyone else's behalf. Like was your last mountain bike ride when you rode with us in Tucson? Probably not actually, but around then. Yeah. <laughs> He's on the one, once a year program. <laughs> Let me tell you though, they're great rides on great bikes when I do it. Yeah. <laughs> The other thing I've noticed about today's ride is we have a lot of disintegrating clothing. Like the rest yeah. of the shirt. Remy's wearing a disintegrating t-shirt. Guys, we need to find Mo a clothing sponsor because those are what his bibs look like and that's bad. So Mackie is really fast on that hardtail. Yeah, Mackie! Yeah! Good job, good job, good job! Yeah. 
Good job. <laughs> All right, so if you guys are watching this, this is Mo Awesome. That's Hannah down there. Hey. Sid and Mackie are really awesome people. So, so they got the, the vouch of approval, but they didn't need that. They're super awesome. Oh. You can barely even tell he doesn't have any suspension. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was a good save. I just had to pull out the camera just in time for it. Oh. <laughs> this bike is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, second of all, I realized my seat was up until like three quarters. <laughs> I almost like caught it and wiped out. I'm almost. It was like the little steep bit. He did a serious like. Definitely riding the front wheel a little bit for a second there. Nice. Turns out if you just keep going and like uh, lean back with the seat down, you can ride almost anything. Yeah. <laughs> you keep low. going and lean back with the seat down. <laughs> that advice that Remy just gave you, that is terrible advice. Okay. <laughs> the leaning back is the terrible advice right. part. Yes, because then you, low, then you have, low. yeah, you want to be low, but you don't want to lean back because then you lose all the control of your front wheel. You give him points for riding once a year? Yeah. I'm impressed by Mackie's hardtail <laughs> skills. Aw, oh, thanks. You're flying. You're now ready to move on to phase two. How do you guys feel about phase two? We think we're gonna be stoked yeah. on phase yeah. two. Yeah. Phase two involves some burritos and maybe finding out what the best burrito is. We have to settle something because Hannah and Mo do not agree on the best burrito joint. It's in become Santa Cruz. a problem. And it's a problem. problem. So it, Sounds like we have to go to both. We're gonna be the objective so judges to help them settle yeah, this. Yeah, somebody um, needs to do that. Relationship. Sometimes in a relationship, you need someone to yeah, come in from the outside, outside and like, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. do that because we love Bo and Hannah. We want to yeah. help. And them. we love burritos. Okay. Mostly, we love. Burritos. <laughs> we're trying to come up with a good metric for this burrito rating. What do you think, Mackie? I think it's important that we're scientific and objective about this. Tortilla is an important. Yeah, aspect. the tortilla. You gotta have a good tortilla. Gotta have a good tortilla. This is, so far, this is looking promising as far as atmosphere goes. Yep. Love yep. a good, slightly rundown looking strip mall burrito place. Yeah, La Cabana Taqueria. Nice. You decided to go for the super burrito. So it's rice, beans, cheese, lettuce, salsa, guacamole, sour cream, and we're gonna do um, carne asada, grilled beef. Chips look good. Chips look good. So is this the place with the unlimited chips or the not unlimited chips? <laughs> is there a salsa bar? No, the other one has it. Okay. Salsa salsa. This is good salsa. Though. It is good salsa. Good price, $8 for a super burrito seems pretty reasonable. I would give the uh, atmosphere high ratings. Yeah. Initial impressions? Big. Big, that's good. That's definitely extra points, yep. All right, let's cut it open. Oh man, that looks pretty amazing. Initial impressions are very positive. Positive initial impressions, that's good. All right, so the only complaints we have, since we are being hypercritical here, is that it was- I would not complain about it. No, no, not at all. It was a great burrito. But if since we're being hypercritical, so that we can do an accurate comparison, yeah. it was a little heavy on the lettuce. And the sour cream. And the sour cream, and the cheese was not melted. Yeah. There was just shredded cheese in there. And we found out that the chips and salsa were not bottomless. Yeah, these guys I think are more disappointed about that than I am. Yeah, minus a point for that one. But overall, I give it positive ratings. It was very, it was a good size. It was a very good size. When you pay eight dollars for a burrito, you want it to be that size of a burrito. Yeah, you don't want it to be a little wimpy thing. All right, this is stop number two. The traffic was pretty terrible, so we're and so it actually took us a while. Hungry again. Yeah, so it's not like there's any leftover like being full from the last one. We're like ready for burrito round two. All right, salsa's taco bar. We know that this is Mo's pick. Good salsa bar. That definitely gets a few points. 
this was our five pound California burrito. I'm not sure it's five pounds, but it looks like I mean, it. it's two tortillas. It's pretty massive. I think that's, yeah, that's pretty amazing. As you guys can see, Hannah and Moe's burrito is moldy. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, you've tried the burrito. It's not quite a one-to-one -one comparison because this is a California burrito and it's also giant. But like, what are your initial impressions? Tasty? Mm -hmm. Careful, you're squeezing it and it's coming out the other side. I'm trying to hold it lightly. <laughs> I'm trying to hold a giant burrito lightly. This thing is huge. That is pretty delicious. We're trying to be fair. We're trying to be objective. <laughs> <laughs> we take our burritos very seriously. The cheese is melted, and it's not too heavy on the lettuce. So, and so far... I don't think there's any lettuce. There is, like, see some Okay. Right Maybe right. it's guacamole. I think it's guacamole. Either way, so far I'm giving this high yeah. rankings overall. Yeah. It's also How gigantic. How are you eating a burrito that's open on both ends? I don't know, it's not that's going not well. It's about to all burrito. fall out. I'm voting burrito stop number two. Yeah, I think salsa's I think. one. Pretty hard to beat a massive two tortilla burrito for thirteen dollars or fourteen dollars. Unlimited chips and salsa, and there was a, and a salsa good bar. salsa bar. Like and like salsa bar? both the burritos were good. This one was just as good as the other one, but like all I the other things, I think yeah, I think we have a winner. <laughs>